Hey guys, it's Army Tricks from Game Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create thumbnails like I do on my YouTube channel. So there's two types of thumbnails I make, the ones with transparent text, such as this, and the other type I make mostly for gameplay videos is something like this. So first of all, I'm going to show you the transparent text method. So first you'll need a picture of your choice, so I'm going to be using this tiger. Right click and copy the image, go into Photoshop CC CC 2014, CS6 or any other CS, it should work on all of them. Go to File, New, hit OK, Edit and paste in your picture. So that's our tiger. Now you'll want to create a new layer by going to this button and clicking it. Then you'll want to go to Edit, Fill, and make sure it has 70% opacity, it's using white background contents, the mode is normal, and preserve transparency is unchecked. Hit OK. That should dim our picture a bit so there's space for the text to go. Now you want to add your text layer, go to text, and click and type in your text. Make sure it is black, black is located in the bottom of this so any of those blacks, and then type in your text, so mine will be tiger. Then resize it to any size of your choice. If you want to retain the aspect ratio, hold shift and resize. Hold shift and resize like that to anything of your liking. Then hit the tick to verify your changes. Then you want to find your tiger text, click it, hold control, and click your grey layer and then hit Control g Replace Control with the command button if you're using a map, um, if you're using a Mac. Then you want to double click on the tiger text, or you can right click, sorry, you can right click and go to Blending Options. Find the knockout, turn it to shallow, so it becomes transparent underneath your grey layer, and slowly adjust your fill opacity to whatever mount you think works best. So I'd say something more like that would be good. Hit OK and you're pretty much done, but you can also adjust the transparency of your grey layer. So click it, go to opacity here, and, it, and basically you can adjust it to anything you want. So I would probably keep it around there then you can adjust your tiger text layer again, make it more, uh, increase the opacity if you want to make it stand out more, and decrease it if you want to make it more transparent. So I'd go with somewhere in the middle for the best effect. Something like that should stand out quite well. Especially if you're using brighter backgrounds, or darker backgrounds actually, um, a more transparent one should work better. So that's it for the shallow version, now let's start with a different one, the other version. So you want to create a new background again, but before you do that you'll need another background image. So here's a shot from AC Unity, you'll want to copy it, file, new again, hit OK, edit and paste. Now we have our new picture here, now we're, this is a lot simpler than the other method. So all I do for this one is click anywhere you want, create a text box, and type in the text you want. And this, I normally use white, and I type in whatever I'm doing a video on, so Assassin's Creed Unity. And then resize it to make it stand out. And that should look good. Hit the tick to verify your changes. Right click Assassin's Creed Unity, go to Blending Options, and from here you might want to add a stroke, increase the size to make it stand out even more, and also include a drop shadow. I don't know what size you want it to be, but this is minor stuff here, but it does make a difference. Something like that. And now it really stands out. You can add an inner shadow to make it look like it's been engraved into your picture. You can add an inner glow which also adds to that same effect. 
a satin, which is sort of like giving it a shiny look. You don't need to add a colour overlay as that's the colour of your text. You can add a gradient overlay of course, something like this, and um, yeah. Of course there's pattern overlays but I wouldn't use this as quite a lot of them are pretty ugly. Add an outer glow to make it stand out, this doesn't have much of an effect but you can use it anyway. But these are the current settings I use. And hit OK, then you're done. Now if you're not sure how to save these pictures, it is very easy. Go to File, Save As, and save it as a Photoshop document if you want to come and save, um, look at it again later and edit it. Or save it as a PNG for the highest quality type of picture you can upload as a YouTube thumbnail. And hit Save. Make sure you compress it so it doesn't take long to upload, and you're done. Thanks for watching guys, and that is how to make the thumbnails that I make the transparent version and of course the simple text version. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.